Hello, and welcome to the Center for Parenting Education and the second part of our webcast on how to use rules. In this section, we will be looking at the two types of rules, both non-negotiable and negotiable. When you set non-negotiable rules, you're insisting that the rules be obeyed without any discussion. The younger the child, the more you need to set these non-negotiable rules. They're used to keep children safe. You don't ask your children if they want to use a car seat, you tell them. Eventually children learn how to keep themselves safe because over time they begin to use the rules you set without your having to monitor them. So examples of non-negotiable rules would include that you must wear a helmet when you ride your bike, you may not cross the street by yourself, and as a child gets older, you must be home by 8 p.m. As your children mature, you hand over more of the power for self-governing to them, and then they can have more of a say. Negotiable rules teach children to think for themselves, to advocate for themselves, to express their ideas, and it gives them practice in decision making. So for example, if a growing child feels that that 8 p.m. bedtime is too early, you can ask her why she thinks so, what time she thinks makes more sense, how she plans to handle getting up on time for school in the morning, and so on. Just because your child wants to renegotiate a rule doesn't mean that you have to change it, but it does give you an opportunity to teach your child about compromise and negotiation. Negotiable rules help children to feel good about themselves as they see that you're willing to consider their input and ideas. Their cooperation often increases because they're less likely to resist a rule when they're involved in establishing it. As a result, conflict in your home may diminish. Examples of negotiable rules might include bedtimes. So let's add together what time bedtime should be on the weekends. Snack choices. We can talk about what snacks you'd like in your lunchbox. What chores to do and when they get done. So here's a list of chores that need to happen. You can choose two that you're willing to do. It really is an art to decide when a rule can be negotiable. It depends on the child's maturity and judgment levels, past history with being able to handle increased responsibility, as well as your family's values. At certain times in development, parents may need to rein children back in by switching to a non-negotiable rule if that's what it takes to keep children safe and to instill values. This often happens during adolescence when everything from bedtime to social plans to computer use to even family time requirements may be renegotiated. Furthermore, what's negotiable in one family may be non-negotiable in another and not important enough in a third to even have a rule about it. So for example, one family may have a negotiable rule about eating in the family room. Maybe it can be done as long as people clean up when they're finished. Another family may have a non-negotiable rule that eating in the family room is never allowed. And a third family may have no rules about eating in the family room. It's can be allowed under any conditions. So those are some thoughts about the two types of rules, negotiable and non-negotiable. So thank you for joining us. In the next section, part three, we're going to be looking at six key elements to consider as you set rules.